Hello everyone, welcome back to Cybernet. Today, we're diving into the world of PFSense, focusing on NAT port forwarding, setting up a router DMZ configuration, and checking port forwarding. By the end of this video, you'll be a pro at managing your network traffic effectively with PFSense. So, let's get started. First up, NAT port forwarding. This feature allows us to redirect incoming traffic from specific ports to internal servers. Let's dive into the PFSense interface. Log in to PFSense WebWi. Navigate to Firewall NAT. Port Forward. Click on Add to create a new rule. Here, we enter the necessary details like the interface, protocol, source, destination, and the redirect target IP and port, and description. Let's start with web servers. I'll walk you through the process of forwarding HTTP and HTTPS traffic to a local server. If we're talking about NAT, NAT port forwarding is a powerful feature that allows you to expose services on your local network to the internet. With PFSense, you can easily configure it to forward traffic to your web servers, MySQL databases, remote login services, and even VNC. Finally, Saver Changers. This icon, you can copy this rule and you can edit and save it. Now, let's say you have a MySQL server on your local network. We'll set up port forwarding for it. Follow along as I configure the necessary settings to allow external access to your MySQL server securely. Save rules show like this. Now let's talk about setting up a DMZ demilitarized zone on your router. A DMZ provides an isolated network for servers that need to be accessible from the internet. We'll forward all ports from the router to PFSense. Access your router's configuration page. Locate the DMZ configuration section. Navigate to Settings. Security. DMZ settings. Enable DMZ settings. Enter the WAN IP address of your PFSense firewall as the DMZ IP address. How to find your PFSense WAN IP address? Go to PFSense GUI dashboard and interface section. You can find the WAN IP address. Apply to save the changes. Finally, let's ensure that our port forwarding is working as expected. We can use the website you get signal com to check if a specific port is open and reachable from the internet. Open your web browser and go to you get signal com. First, we check the SSH port. We did not open that port on our PFSense firewall. Result is 22 port is closed. We already opened the 80 port on PFSense. Let's check the 80 port. Results saying 80 port is open. And there you have it. So you've tried a method that didn't quite do the trick. The first thing you need to check is whether your internet service provider ISP has assigned you a static IP address or a dynamic public IP. If your internet service provider ISP has assigned you a dynamic private IP, NAT is not working. 
we've covered NAT port forwarding, router DMZ configuration, and how to check if your port forwarding is working using UGET-SIGNAL-COM. These powerful features can significantly enhance your network security and performance. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.